Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do a fun watercolor technique. I just love these new products that I got from Tonic Studios and Nuvo. Uh, these are some uh, shimmery powders that I will use for the watercoloring today. And to start off I'm just uh, prepping my surface here because I'm gonna stamp out an image from Gina K Design. This one is called uh, you make me smile and it's a really pretty floral set from her this is my first ever stamp set from Gina K and I absolutely fall in love with this design of this flower I could not for the life of me tell you which type of flower this is it's just a pretty flower okay <laughs> so I decided to use a stamping tool um, just to make sure that I um, like got a good impression since this was a new stamp to me and I use some Versa Mark ink and that's a clear sticky ink because I'm gonna emboss this uh, flower with some um, uh, clear uh, detailed embossing powder from Hero Arts and I'm using um, a coffee filter just to pick this uh, embossing powder up that's a tip I got from Yamlin for McWay I think a couple of years ago and I've really been liking this lately just to use it. You can also use a scratch piece of paper if you want to. And just to fibble it all back into the jar. And then we're gonna adhere it down to this cardboard type piece. It's from a cat, uh, packaging, piece of packaging. Uh, so I don't know exactly what it's called, but let's call it just a cardboard base. And I'm just taking some uh, washi tape here to adhere it down to this surface and now comes the fun part because we're gonna do a resist technique because the flower will pop out immediately when we hit some water on top of these um, small like uh, powdery thing that we are gently um, spritzing out here and you can see how the image pops right off it's fantastic and this is a really random technique I saw um, Amy R doing something similar with these um, uh, shimmer powders and I had to go out and get some because I have a really hard time letting go and just letting watercolors be like randomly I want to have a little bit more control but with this ones I have not found a good way to like control it and then this was the purpose with them I don't want to control them I just want them to go everywhere and spritz and see what I get so it's really fantastic it's so much fun and you don't have to have a lot of colors I just got four to start off with I got um, a solar flare the green parade the Atlantis burst and the cherry bomb and um, that was it and you can see these are packed with shimmer and they also have like different colors in them so it's not just like a yellow one or a pink one it's gonna be tones of different shadings inside of these i think there are like eight in total you can get and i actually when i started to play with these i was like why didn't i get all of them and now i have to wait for them to get in stock here in sweden because they are sold out of course they are they always are so <laughs> i'm waiting for especially the black one and the purple one because i think they would be a fantastic combination to use for a galaxy background and um, so stay tuned for that i'm hoping to get my hands on uh, these colors soon because i really like these ones um, and maybe you ask yourself why doesn't she just go online and order them from some other stores and not just wait for them to get in stock here in Sweden because the shipping is ridiculously expensive and it takes forever I don't know what is up with the postage but lately uh, things that I have been ordering it takes like a month for them to come here so I'm really hoping that my local shop will stock them before a month has gone so We'll see how they do, but I'm holding my uh, like thumbs for it, so we'll see. And you can see I took the other piece that I did. This one I just stamped the image once on top of it, and I'm just taking two colors because I wanted to see how uh, the yellow and the pink one mix together. And you can see they are creating a really fun sort of uh, orange and different shades of pink and yellow in between here and the shimmer is fantastic and if you're wondering what I'm doing now I'm like dabbing off some parts of um, uh, where I thought it was a little bit too heavy with water so and I just used a baby wipe to do it I'm heat setting it in between as you can see me do several times here just to speed up the process and here I hope you can see how much shimmer this is it's 
fantastic. These uh, shimmer powders are really, yeah, it's a really fun product to use. And to my sentiment, I'm going to use two strips of uh, cardstock here. And you could see my guillotine. And it's something wrong with it. I don't know what it is. It's new to me. And it doesn't cut properly. Pro pro what is it called? It doesn't cut the way I want it to cut, basically. So uh, it tears my paper and everything. I try to, like, tighten. Is it called a screw? It's called a screw in svenska. In Swedish but I don't know what it's called in English I will let's call it a screw okay because it sound swinglish good to me <laughs> anyway um, I tried to tighten it and loosen it and like fibbling around with it to make it cut probably pro I cannot say that word cut the way I want it to um, but I cannot get it to work the way I wanted to so I'm really disappointed and I actually write the company that I bought it from it wasn't from Tonic Studios directly so I contacted the store I want um, like bought it from and they said that I should try it again and try the screw again so we'll see how I do so anyway the cards are finished and I just uh, like embellished the card with some sequins from Pretty Pin Pars and that was it so if you like this card, please give it a thumb up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you can see more videos from me in the future. And also you can hit the bell button. Uh, that is a button that makes you get a notification when I'm publishing a new video, so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Great, huh? So until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!